हेलो स्टूडेंट्स साई राम लेट एस कंटिन्यू विद द सेम चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर लेवन पेरीमीटर एंड एरिया टुडे वी विल डू सम मो सम्स बेस्ड ऑन सर्कमफ्रेंस ऑफ अ सर्कल एंड एरिया ऑफ अ सर्कल नाउ दिस आर द फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस होमवर्क क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन विच वॉज गिवन एज होमवर्क आई विल शो यू हाउ टू डू इट यू मस्ट हैव डन इट यू कैन चेक योर होमवर्क and then we will learn area of a circle then methods to find out the area of a circle and then we will derive the formula of area of a circle and then we'll do exercise 11.3 question number 2 b and c a will be your homework which is very easy so b and c i'll show you and then we'll do one more question that is question number 3 so first let us see homework question Question number one, C part of exercise eleven point three was your homework, and the question was find the circumference of the circle with the radius twenty one centimeter, and you have to take pi as twenty two upon seven. So first, what we will do? We will write what is given in the question. So what is given here? We know the radius. So we'll write radius is equal to twenty one centimeter, and then what we have to find out? We have to find out circumference. So to find out circumference, we need to write the formula. So we'll write circumference is equal to two pi r, which is equal to. Now here we will write two, and in place of pi we will write twenty two upon seven. Here you can see in the question the value of pi is twenty two upon seven, and then radius is twenty one centimeter. So into twenty one, and then you will reduce seven three is a twenty one, and then when you will multiply two into twenty two into Three. When you multiply all these three numbers, you will get one hundred and thirty-two centimeter. So you can check your answer whether you have got one thirty-two centimeter or not. One more question was given as homework: the radius of a circular pipe is ten centimeter. What length of a tape is required to wrap once around the pipe? And here you have to take the value of pi as three point one four. Now here, what is what we have to do? We have to find out length of a tape required to wrap one once around the pipe. That means around the pipe means we need to find out the circumference of the circular pipe. So we'll write that first. We'll write what is given. We know radius of the pipe, which is ten centimeter, and the length of tape required is equal to the circumference of the pipe, because you have to wrap it around the pipe. And only once you have to wrap. So first we'll find out circumference. Circumference of the pipe will write two pi r as it is circular in shape. So we'll write two pi r, and then we'll substitute the value. So is equal to two into in place of pi we will write three point one four multiplied by radius is ten, and then you will multiply this on multiplication you will get sixty two point eight centimeter. So therefore length of the tape. Needed to wrap once around the pipe is sixty-two point eight centimeter. So this was your homework. Now let us take an example. What will be the cost of polishing a circular tabletop of radius two meter at the rate of rupees ten per square meter? Can you tell what we find in this case? Area or perimeter? You have to find out. See here, what is given? The rate is given. per square meter so when square meter is given immediately you have to understand we have to find out the area so in such case we need to find the area of the circular region so let us find out area of a circle using graph paper last year you have learned how to use graph paper by counting the squares to find out the area so let us take one example so children this is one example find area of circle of radius 2 cm by counting squares so this is a circle of radius 2 cm now we are going to count the number of squares so first you have learned this last year we will see fully filled squares so here you can see number 1 these all squares are fully filled up squares so here how many are there four 1 2 3 4 so this four squares are completely filled up and then we will find out the area so for completely filled up we will take each square as one so as there are four squares of this type 
so 1 into 4 will be 4 and then we'll see half filled squares now here you see children there are there is no half filled square either they are more than half or less than half but you will not find any square which is half so what we'll do we'll write number here next column is of number and third column is of area so here we'll write zero and then what you'll do how will you find the area half half filled means half multiplied by zero as there is no square of this type so we are going to multiply it by zero so half into zero is zero and then we will go to the next one more than half filled squares so more than half filled you can see here this one third one three is written this is more than half this one is also more than half you can see only little bit is left here same way here also you can see so this four squares are more than half filled now here also see one two here three four so totally here four and here also four so totally eight squares are more than half filled so here eight is written you can see and then more than half also will take it as one so you will get one into eight which is equal to eight now next is less than half filled square so it is written by this number four so you can see this is less than half this one is also less than half this also less than half this also less than half so totally how many four four squares are less than half but when it is less than half we don't count it so we'll take it as zero we ignore that so we'll write zero into four which is equal to zero now this way we have got the area now we have to find out the total area so total area will be we are going to add 4 plus 0 plus 8 plus 0 you can see here it is added so on addition you will get 12 centimeter square but this is the way the area which we have calculated it doesn't give you the accurate area of the circle it gives you a rough estimate of the area of the circle so now we will today we are going to learn how to find out the right estimate how to find out the accurate area of a circle see here as the edges are not straight you can see here when we have used graph paper counting the squares the edges were not straight so we get a rough estimate of the area of circle by that method so there is another way of finding the area of a circle so for that what you have to do you will have to draw a circle of radius this is one example of radius say 6 cm so this circle has radius 6 cm so we'll draw a circle of radius 6 cm you can take any radius but here for example 6 cm is taken as a radius now now what you'll do next now fold the circle into 16 equal parts so this is the way you're going to fold it you know how to fold that this is the first fold then again this fold you will divide it into two this again two so this way you will get four and then like this you will go on increasing the number of folds and then when you will open it it should be how many parts 16 equal parts then what you will do then unfold the circle and color it as shown in the figure you can see here two colors are used one red one blue so you are going to color all the six parts each part is called a sector so you're going to color it with two different colors and then what you'll do next step you see cut out neatly all 16 parts from the circle so you're going to cut all the parts like this how we take out the slice of the of uh, pizza or cake so same way you're going to cut it equally properly into 16 equal parts and paste them as shown in figure so each part you're going to paste it like this this is the way this is one part this is another part like this you can see different that's why two colors are used so you can understand so and then you can see here what kind of figure we are getting here we get a roughly a parallelogram shape so this looks like a parallelogram now children the more sectors we have if we go on increasing the number of sectors instead of 16 if we go on increasing the nearer we reach an appropriate rectangle you can see here here there are 64 sectors and when you cut it and you arrange it 
in this way you will see it looks like a rectangle and this is the length of the rectangle you can see here and this is the breadth and what is the breadth of this rectangle the breadth of this rectangle is the radius of the circle so if you, when you measure here we have taken radius as 6 cm so you can measure that this breadth of the rectangle is also 6 cm so breadth is equal to the radius of the circle now as the whole circle is divided into 64 sectors as i told you on each side we have 32 sectors so the length will be how much the length of the rectangle is the length of 32 sectors so whatever you will measure the whole circumference and you know how to measure the circumference so what will happen the length of the rectangle is the length of 32 sectors so 32 as there are 64 sectors totally so here it will be half of the circumference of the circle because the circumference of the circle here we have drawn we have made 64 sectors so here there will be 32 sectors here there will be 32 sectors that means length is equal to length of the rectangle is equal to half of the circumference of the circle here you can see here this is the whole circumference the boundary of the circle and when you, you you can see it is divided into so many parts and when you arrange all the sectors or the parts you will see it looks like a when the number of parts are more it looks like a rectangle and when the number of parts are less it looks like a parallelogram and the length of it will be half of the circumference of the circle and breadth is equal to the radius of the circle now what we will write we will write area there that means we have come to know that area of the circle is equal to area of the rectangle thus formed because using those sectors only we have made the rectangle so both the areas are same and we know area of rectangle is L into B so next what you will do in place of L what you will substitute you will write half into circumference because length of the rectangle is half of the circumference of the circle and breadth is the radius of the circle so we will write in place of breadth we will write radius and then what you will do next step is equal to half into now we know circumference in the last presentation we have learned circumference is pi d there are two formulas so we are going to write pi d first pi into d d means diameter of the circle into in place of radius r now next step you see is equal to half into in place of the here pi and in place of d we will write 2r twice radius because diameter is twice radius 2 into r multiplied by r and then what you will do this 2 this 2 will be cut so what is left here we got pi here here r and then one more r which is equal to pi r square so we got area of the circle as pi r square so remember children area of circle is pi into radius square r square and the unit is square unit and the value of pi can be 22 upon 7 or 3.14 approximately so this is the formula for area of circle pi r square square unit now based on this formula we are going to solve some questions of the exercise question number 2 of exercise 11.3 question number 1 we have done last time so we will start with question number 2 exercise 11.3 and A part will be your homework so B part I has written here find the area of the following circles given that the first here B part is diameter 49 meter so here diameter is given as 49 meter so what how to solve it I will show you first you will write what is given diameter is equal to 49 meter so how much will be radius as you know diameter is equal to 2r so radius will be half of the diameter so 49 will be divided by 2 and then it's very easy you have to just substitute you have to write the formula first so area is equal to pi r square and then you will substitute the value in place of pi you will write 22 upon 7 and radius is 49 upon 2 here also 49 upon 2 r square so one more time we will write 49 upon 2 and we are going to multiply this and then we will reduce 7 7 is a 49 here this 2 will be cut 
so on solving when you multiply you will get this answer upon 2 and then if you want you can divide this you will get this is this will be your final answer and unit is very important it will be square meter or meter square now next question C part also I'll show you you have to find out the area here radius is given 5 cm so same method we will first write radius is equal to 5 cm and then same method we will write the formula area is equal to pi r square and then we will substitute the value 22 upon 7 into 5 into 5 and then what you will do can you reduce any of it no so what you will do you are going to multiply these three numbers you will get here upon 7 and then if you want you can divide it you will get in decimal and then unit is very important as I told you it will be square centimeter so you will get 78.57 centimeter square and this you multiply this you multiply and see whether you are getting this number or not now next question question number 3 of the same exercise if the circumference of a circular sheet is 154 meter find its radius also find the area of the sheet so there are two parts first we have to find out the radius and then we have to find out area of the circular sheet and you have to take the value of pi as 22 upon 7 so first we will write what is given circumference is given as 154 meter so circumference is equal to 154 meter and we know circumference of a circular sheet will be 2 pi r which is equal to 154 and then we will substitute here we will write first 2 in place of pi we will substitute this value 22 upon 7 into r r we have to find out find its radius so we will write into r and is equal to 154 and then you know how to find out the value of r r will keep here first we will write 154 this when we will take it to the other side it will become 7 upon here it is 22 upon 7 when we will take it to the other side it will become 7 upon 22 and here it is 2 upon 1 so when you will take it to the other side it will become 1 upon 2 or you can write directly 2 in the denominator here you can add one more here into 1 and then what you will do you are going to reduce if you want you can reduce this to when you divide it by 2 you will get here 7 7 into 7 is 49 upon 2 so we got radius as 49 upon 2 meter now what you have to do you have to find out the area of the sheet so area of the sheet we will use the formula for area that is pi r square and then we are going to substitute the value in place of pi we will write 22 upon 7 into r just now we have got 49 upon 2 into 49 upon 2 and then you know how to reduce this 2 will reduce this 2 will reduce on reducing and solving we will get 3773 upon 2 and then when you will divide this number by 2 you will get your final answer in decimal 1886.5 meter square so this is all questions you will solve it on your own and you will check whether you are getting the same answer or not now children this is your homework for today question number 2 as I told you A part is your homework and question number 4 you try to solve next time I will show you how to do this questions you can check your answer that's all for today thank you